What's good, everybody? It's Big Game James, man. I'm back in the building, and I thought I'd make a quick video before we go live tonight with a couple shows so I can get, get my thoughts out right quick. Tune in tonight. Burgers and Blitz is back on. It's been not really my fault, but I got new equipment, but my, my camera was acting really weird the last two weeks. We finally got it together. I might have a little, it might be a little out of balance on mine. I will get it rectified, but we got to get that show popping. Been too long. Mike got some stuff for us today. So make sure you check out Burgers and Blitzes at his regular time, 7.30 p.m. EST. And then at 9 p.m. EST, the final word, myself, Boss Cowboys, Law Nation, uh, Laura Brunson, and um, Smitty from Philly. We're going to have a live draft and my guy Joe. He's going to come in when he get off work. So we're going to just like have a live mock draft with the Philly heads and the Cowboys heads. They did it last year. Gonna do it again this year. I think it should be real fun. So make sure you tune in with that. That'll be exciting. But I just want to get my thoughts on a couple of things today that was just in my head. Number one, I saw what Mike McCarthy hired him an agent. Smart move. I don't think that's any cause for alarm. That's a smart thing to do. You're going in the last year of your deal. Uh, it, this could be the lame duck season, and you're just being smart, preparing for anything. If you don't take it to the next level this year, you're gone. And you're going to need to have an agent to put you to these other teams. I guess he's the agent of uh, with Tom Brady, uh, uh, Sean Payton, and I think another coach. So he's only doing a smart thing. And from that interview, from the press conference, I would do the same thing. I would already be preparing that if it don't go my way, I already got the rebound. And Mike McCarthy will get a job, and I think he'll get a job for this reason. Yes, he didn't. if he doesn't win this year and get Dallas over the hump, people will be like, well, why are we taking you? But let's say he gets another double-digit win season. That'll be uh, four seasons out of the five that you had double-digit seasons. I don't know if you make the playoffs or not, but let's just say you do and don't do anything in the playoffs again. Well, Mike McCarthy can go to these other teams and say, hey, I, look where I was at, Dallas. It's a zoo over there. Let's keep it real. I'm, I guarantee, I'm not going to guarantee because I'm not in there, but if Mike, they asked them, Mike McCarthy, what was going on in Dallas, you ain't going to sit there and tell me Mike McCarthy, ain't, when he's away from Dallas, ain't got to deal with that no more. He's not going to sit there and say it was a zoo over there. It was crazy. It was wild. And so for me to win how I won under them circumstances, you got to give me props. And who else has won over there? Nobody has won over there. But what I did over there hasn't been done in over 20, since the 90s. So Mike McCarthy can use that if it doesn't fail because ain't nobody won in Dallas. No coach has won in Dallas since Jimmy Johnson. You feel me? So you can't just lump that on me uh, as all the failures of I've been successful. Same way Dak can use when he's talking about these teams. I can use this. I, I was a winner over there, but ain't nobody been winning. There's something over there. So he can you really use that in his favor, and I think Mike McCarthy will get a job. I mean, if these other coaches get jobs, Mike McCarthy get another job if it doesn't work in Dallas. Also, to me, this is you know, unless something crazy happens on draft day, I've already talked about it. You know, we don't, I don't know anything could be in the air. Trey, Dak, I don't know. It could happen. We'll have we'll talk to Mike. You know, I already told you my feelings about that, but this is about Trey Lance, and. That bogus report, in my opinion, was a bogus report from Rich Eisen talking about the Minnesota Vikings were interested in Trey Lance. Why would a team be interested in Trey Lance when he just signed a deal? The Cowboys just picked up his option, right? Why would they trade for somebody who's on the last year of their option and then they got to get a new contract? When you could just draft a rookie and have him for four to five years on a rookie deal. That would make sense, especially if you don't know what you have in Trey Lance. That would make no sense for them to t a, a team to, or the Vikings to trade for him when they can draft them a quarterback and have him on a cheaper deal. And Trey Lance ain't that much higher than a rookie because he ain't really played. You get what I'm saying? So that just don't make no sense to me that a team would trade for him. I just think that was just a lot of talk to get the trade value up, whatever, whatever. But I don't think that's happening. I don't know what's going to happen to Dak, but if Dak is still here and Trey is still here, Trey Lance – you ever watch, listen to Tupac, All Eyes on Me? That's what it's going to be. All Eyes on Trey Lance this offseason. In OTAs, mini camp, training camp, and you best believe Trey Lance is going to play all preseason because basically that's your audition. 
audition for if the Cowboys want to keep you or audition for, eh, we made a mistake and we're probably going to trade you now. So this is the Trey Lance watch now, in my opinion. They're going to see if he's worthy of staying there for the long haul or, you know what, we wasted a pick, he ain't it, so we're going to get rid of him. That's what I think you're going to look for in minicamp, training camp, OTAs, minicamp, training camp, Preseason games, Trey Lance playing all them preseason games. You feel me? He damn near might play and start all of them. They don't need to see nothing from no damn Cooper Rush. You need to see everything from Trey Lance. You feel me? You need to decide if he comes in and balls out. Well, guess what? I feel like if he comes in and really turns up, looks good in mini camps, training camp, and then gets in the preseason and looks really good. Yeah, and Dak ain't signed, and they're just like, well, let's wait to the end of the year and do it. Nah. That if, if Trey Lance shows anything, I feel like that is the thing. Well, okay, we didn't sign Dak, but look what Trey showed. We like what we have going forward. He's young. It's going to be cheaper for him. We're going to keep him. Dak moves on. That's a mistake in my opinion because you could have got something for Dak. You should have been out there seeing, talking to Dak to try to get something for him instead of letting him finish out this year and just letting him walk. That just don't make no sense to me. If you're going to do something with Dak, do something and get something for him. Don't just let him walk. That just don't make no sense to me. So, to me, like I said, this is the Trey Lance watch. All preseason, preseason games, training camp, everybody's all eyes going to be on him and see what he looks like, especially if Dak hasn't signed his deal yet. It's just it's just going to put more fire in the air, more, more, more controversy in the air, more talk about Dallas in the air, what Jerry wants. He wants the controversy, he wants all that. So, you know, this organization is just silly, in my opinion. I ain't going to say it's a joke, but low key is a joke but it's just silly um how they operate it and how they do things and how they think they fooling cowboys fans like we don't know what's going on but it's cool we're gonna see we're gonna see tomorrow what happens in this draft but definitely excited to talk to mike been a while and i know he's gonna have some stuff for us and then it's gonna be exciting to have this last mock draft before the real draft tomorrow and then we'll see what these cowboys do tomorrow uh but that's my feelings on mike mccarthy trey lance and uh, we'll see how it goes. All right. Make sure you tune in. Uh, I think it'll be real exciting. Like I said, my my screen might be a little messed up, but don't worry about it. You just listen to the voice. You ain't worried about looking at the face. Right. Big game, James. I'm out. Peace.